Have you ever wondered what the difference is between an open VZ or a KVM VPS? In today's video, we're gonna go over all of the differences so you can make an informed decision. This is very important information to know, so stick around and let's get into it. So you're in the market for a VPS and you've come across the term open VZ and KVM, and you're wondering what it means. By the end of this video, I promise you'll know everything that you need to know about OpenVZ and KVM. Let's start off with OpenVZ and what it is. Now, OpenVZ is container-based virtualization for Linux. It's not really full virtualization, but rather just a container within a server. A container can have root access and can be rebooted independently. Some restrictions of OpenVZ is that it only supports specific pre-configured Linux templates and has no Windows operating system support. Additionally, the kernel modules available are the ones loaded by the host. And if you're missing something or if you wanna run a custom kernel, there is really no option to do that as you are sharing the kernel with the host node. Now moving on to KVM, which actually is a much more attractive option. KVM virtualization technology has been adopted by plenty of hosting providers and consumers worldwide and is by far the leading virtualization technology. Now KVM, which stands for Kernel-Based Virtual Machine, is a fully virtualization solution. Using KVM, one can have Linux and Windows virtual machines running side by side on the same hardware. Each KVM VPS has its own kernel independent from the host. You can install and modify this kernel however you want. Since it has its own virtualization software, the virtual server will act completely on its own and can run any operating system. Now, while KVM VPS may cost slightly more than an OpenVZ VPS, it serves many advantages from a feature and reliability standpoint, as you can see. In fact, nowadays, it's very rare to see a hosting provider still using OpenVZ. In fact, I would even say that it is a red flag if a host still uses OpenVZ because it's very outdated in terms of technology and doesn't come close to the functionality and security of KVM virtualization provides. The pros with KVM is that all applications should work exactly as on a dedicated server, thanks to it being independent from the host node. If you're looking for a KVM VPS, be sure to check out Rackner's VPS specials by heading over to rackner.com forward slash specials. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.